I'm Sharon Goosby. I am a master's level student at Union University. And I want to talk to you guys about um, my last vlog. vlog. <laughs> and it's supposed to reflect on my practice um, experience as a whole. My practical experience. And what has been most impactful to me. I'm also supposed to discuss how I've grown as a practitioner. And I'm supposed to provide specifics. Um, then I'm supposed to reflect on... When I started the practicum um, and rate myself on each competency and overall um, on what I've completed to enter uh, practice as an MSW. I am also going to be using a scale of 0 to 5 and that's because um, that's the skill I was given with the exception of a two. There's no two present. It's zero, one, three, four, five. I'm going to discuss what remains um, for my professional growth as a practitioner. And I'm also going to discuss the strategies that I'm going to use to remain a lifelong learner as a practitioner. So with that being said, let's get started. So the first competency that I'm going to be talking about is demonstrating ethical and professional behavior. And with that one, I would give myself a a one. Um, if I had a two, I would give myself a two. But I would give myself a one for the competency because of my medical issues. Um, but if I didn't have medical issues, I would give myself a five. Because I completed all the orientation training, um, all the learning tasks required. Um, and I was always able to uh, practice self-care and take care of myself um but without the um with the medical issues going on yeah i would just give myself on one on that on that competency so my experience has been eye-opening i was able to get a glimpse of many programs within the va like spinal cord memory clinic home health home aid um and also the homeless program and each program has its own specific task that they're um, required to do um, but when you're entering it into the system um, there are a lot of similarities um, the most impactful moments of being an intern or setting up for or resuming services for veterans and um, just being exposed and included into uh, the interdisciplinary team that goes along with uh, the memory clinic. And that team consisted of um, inclusive of a doctor, a psychiatrist, the pharmacy, and social work. From uh, March 7th, 2019 until um, I completed my internship, um, my peer and I were able to participate in the services and provide with linking the veterans or their families with resources and completing advanced directives when necessary. Okay, I have grown as an advanced practitioner because um, just by being a part of the memory clinic and talking to vets and families independently of staff, social work, um, being present and completing home visits when necessary with the Homemaker Home of Aid program. I will continue to seek the best evidence practice theories in conjunction with obtaining CEUs to offer the best services for or to the client. So the next company C is to engage diversity and difference in practice. Here, I feel like I should give myself um, a four. Um, for the competency and a five overall because I did utilize supervision and client insight to discuss and demonstrate cultural sensitive practice skills. Um, but I will give myself a five overall because I felt like I did very well with that. Um, and yeah, a four pr proficient um, for the competency, but a five overall because I did um, utilize that supervision that was um, given to me. 
all right and the third advance um third competency is to advance human rights and social economic and environment justice with this i feel like i should give myself a four for proficient and that is um for the competency and i just chose a four because i feel like i'm able to articulate and advocate for the clients when necessary um and just be uh just being there in regards to observing and communicating Christian thought into practice values um, and human life. Well, practice that values human life and advances social work and social and economic justice. Excuse me. <laughs> the next competency is number four, and I felt like I was engaged. Um, in practice informed research and research informed practices. Uh, with this, I completed a single subject design and I also completed set client satisfaction surveys, um, which helped me develop a research project. With number four, I give myself a four proficient, um, saying that the, the competency should get a four and I should stay at a four for, um, it overall because research is not one of my strong points okay the fifth competency is to engage in policy practice and with this one i give myself a four proficient due to being able to articulate and participate in working in memory clinic as well as being involved in agency meetings with the homemaker home and fade program and those were quarterly I was also involved in skits and other things to um, to the agency so that they can understand what their purpose was and what they were supposed to be doing. Um, so I gave, let's talk about number six. I engaged with individuals, families, groups, organizations, and communities. Um, by doing this, I, um, I feel like I should get a mastery of five. Um, overall in a five on the competency because I am and was able to be a rapport with clients good rapport and um, I also had clear and concise values um, and boundaries so number seven is to assess individual families and groups organizations in the community so with number seven I give myself a four for proficient and I give myself a um, a four overall and that's to collaborate with the client family staff to determine and define what goals or treatment the client might need so number eight is i um intervene with individuals families groups organizations and communities and by doing this um i give myself a four um, for the competency and I give myself a four overall because I learned about implementing or assisting with completion of advanced directives and was able to do um, more than one with clients um, so yeah I was able to do it on my own without super um, social work supervision um, and I did it correctly and I think I should get a um, four of that with the ninth competency which is to evaluate practice with individuals families groups organizations and communities I give myself a um, I give myself a five mastery and that's for the competency in a five mastery overall and that's specifically because I was completing case um case staffings and I did client surveys to just see um, the change or um, the problems within the program to um, talk to my supervisor about fixing. So then we have the tenth competency, and um, it's it's the one where it says appreciate the context of Christian higher learning education for social work education and for the 10th competency i give myself a four um 
I give myself a four for provision for the competency, and I give myself um, give myself a four proficient. And that's just um, by doing this, I need to continue to stay updated on NSA, SW, code and ethics, and policy regarding Christian faith, values, belief, and religion into practice. Um, so that is it. Bye.